Hey guys, I'm JB with Cyber and you, and today we're going to go over how to install the Kali Linux on our Windows 10 machine. In order to do that, Microsoft actually gives us a nice little feature called the Microsoft Windows Subsystem for Linux. And in order to actually install that feature, we'll have to go to the bottom left here and open up a PowerShell prompt. In order to do that, you'll want to type in PowerShell, right click, run as administrator. Always run something like this as an administrator, just to make sure that you have the proper permissions in order to install new features. And as soon as this is open, we'll go ahead and type in this command, which is enable Windows optional feature dash online dash feature name, and then the Microsoft Windows subsystem Linux. As soon as you press enter, it should restart your machine after installing the new feature. And as soon as it does that, we'll go ahead and log back in and then we're gonna go to the bottom left again to our little Windows Start menu and open up the Microsoft Store. And within the store, you can actually just type in Kali Linux in the little search box up top. And that should pop up this nice little app. We'll go ahead and click on it. It'll open up the, uh, the little Microsoft Store description page for it. And then in this little blue box where it says launch right now, you'll actually have a get. So press on the get and then it'll install the Kali Linux itself. And as soon as it finishes installing, it'll actually ask you to set a default username and password for your Unix account. And as soon as that is accomplished, you'll get greeted with your username and password. And as soon as that is accomplished, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is to sudo su in order to create yourself, uh, make yourself a super user. And then type in the password that you created and now you'll be considered in the, uh, the root portion of the Unix subsystem. And as soon as we're in there, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is actually update the system. And the way you do that is by doing apt-get space update. And as soon as the update is complete, one last thing you're gonna wanna do is actually upgrade your distribution. And you do that by doing apt dash get space dist dash upgrade and then it'll ask me that if i would like to continue yes of course because i would like to have the latest updates and committing that it'll go through the process of uh, installing and updating things and as soon as that is complete we're actually going to also install um, one of the penetration testing tools for kali linux This may take a moment, um, I guess we'll see how long, but it shouldn't be more than two minutes, if that. And now that it's complete, we're gonna do one last thing, and that is installing the Metasploit framework. And this will actually allow us to do some penetration testing. Um, so in order to do that, we'll do another apt-get space install Metasploit framework. It'll go through the process again, press yes or Y again, just in order to install um, the latest and greatest. And that's pretty much it. So if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and we look forward to seeing you again.